Hello and welcome to Gossip Entertainment. My name is Arlene. Uh, we're going to have several guests today. We're going to have um, Richard Delgado, Helena Lane, and uh, her um, husband, Lani. They're going to be talking about uh, their, um, their business and the events that they have before. We also have um, Kath Chavez and Toby Jaramillo. They're going to be doing some sketches for you. And we're going to have a model, a model guest as well. So hopefully you enjoy it and then move yourself from there because you're going to need something very nice. Hello and welcome to Gossip Entertainment. Today we have a, a photographer and he's a musician as well. Welcome. Hello. Uh, nice to be here. Richard. His name is Richard. So how are you Richard? Oh, I'm fine. I'm enjoying the, the weather. It's interesting how it turned cold again. Yeah, I know. <laughs> It's a crazy weather. You don't know what to expect here in Albuquerque. <laughs> so how can you tell us about your music uh, experience? Well, I've been playing music since I was about the fifth grade. And um, from that, I uh, t started in elementary school, taking violin lessons. Okay. And then I played all the way through high school, and I majored in music at, at UTEP. Uh, Texas Western College, it was called back then with a very fine teacher by the name of Abraham Chavez, who was born and raised there in El Paso. And I played the El Paso Symphony and then later. How does it feel to be in the symphony? Hard work. Yeah. It's it, a hard it can, be, it can be very nerve wracking when you're playing something very hard yeah. and you have to play it perfect. That gets nerve wracking. And other times it's easy and fun and oh, yeah. you can sit back and relax when you're playing fun pieces. It, it's hard to get into a symphony? Uh, it's getting actually harder and harder mm. because there's actually, there are actually more people trying out nowadays. Mm. Like here in, in Albuquerque, which is one of the higher level, higher paying orchestras, yeah. it, um, they can have 30 or 40 people trying out for just one job. Oh my God, that's awful. <laughs> and, and they're all very accomplished with uh, master's degrees in music. Wow. And they come from all over the country, and even a few people come from even out of the country, like Europe. Mm -hmm. And so it's very competitive now, but we do have other orchestras that aren't quite so difficult to get into. Um, right now, I'm playing in the Symphony of Albuquerque, which is a non pan amateur orchestra. And it's not that hard to get into it, but it's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we play a lot of concerts. All of our concerts are free. And we give them at various places from Keller Hall to different churches. Uh -huh. And we have a lot of students, and we have a lot of older people. And we uh, uh, play, uh, we have a lot of students who play concertos. Our last concert, we had a nine year old boy playing the piano. Oh, yeah. A uh, high concerto. We had a 13-year-old boy playing the Valdi Valley concerto. We had a 12-year-old girl uh, by the name of Zoe Chavez uh, singing some fantastic arias. And um, so we have um, a lot of opportunities for young people to to have experiences like that. So it's fun to do that. <laughs> Thank you. 
my name is Helena Lane, and this is Mr. Lonnie Lane. Um, how are you doing this evening, Mr. Lonnie? Oh, I'm doing pretty good today. How about yourself? I'm, I'm really excited about the upcoming project that you are working on yeah, for the company. Would you like to tell the audience a little bit about your upcoming project? Sure, I'd like to tell them a little bit. Um, well, it's a uh, How to Do a Fundraiser. It's a uh, film here with local New Mexico artists, uh, musicians, and comedians. Uh, I want to thank Ms. Arlen for introducing me to Mr. Roger Blair, one of our comedians. They have Ms. Lily, Black Mike. Then we have local musicians, uh, Mr. Debs, J2 Sands, Real Estate, Kazian.